So Sadie likes to nap in this room during the day, as you can see, and the room's starting to smell like dog. We can't have this room smelling like dog, Sadie. You need a bath. You want to take a bath? What is, what is, what is this? What is this? Are you sucking up so you don't have to take a bath? Sadie, do you want to take a bath? Sadie, you want to take a bath, Sadie? Sadie, Sadie, you want to take a bath? Hmm? You want to take a bath, Sadie? You want to take a bath? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> so, rascal aside, you guys, we are here for week one, episode one, whatever you want to call it, of our P.O. Box opening series. And when I announced the P.O. Box was coming back, I asked you guys for suggestions for the name because we can't call it P.O. Box Pulls. There were a ton of suggestions, good ones, and unappealing ones. There was one that stuck out which was kind of sort of super vanilla called Fan Mail Fridays and I figured since this is being uploaded on a Friday then you know maybe. And then when it came to the creative ones uh, I saw Knapsack called the Knapsack and I was like that's kind of cool but it's also really suggestive. So I think we might stick with Fan Mail Fridays FMF for now and we'll just go with it. Anyways we did get a few pieces of mail this week that we need to dig into. Again if you want to participate in the series and send something in, please make sure you don't actually include the street address. They want just a P.O. box. They sent me two of these notices with our mail. So let's not include the address. That's my bad. I'm just reminding you guys. But from what I can see, for our first week of mail opening, we have a whopping three letters and a package. So I'm excited because we can get to everything this week. Sadie, what do you want? Why is it when I'm holding these mails up and I'm trying to do something with them, you try to get your face all up in it, and then when I put it down, you want to turn your head? So up first this week, we have a letter from Cassie in Turlock, California. Okay, so Cassie wrote this letter on 420. She says, blaze it. And it says, includes personal stuff and stuff about hashtag ass nappy. I don't mind it being read aloud or not. Okay. So we're free reign here. I was said you didn't mind it being read out loud, so we're gonna go with it. Nappy, hey, how are you? I hope you're well. I just wanted to tell you how much you motivate me. I'm a 16 year old gay girl with a chronic lifelong disease. A year and a half ago, I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease, a disease that makes it hard for me to eat without being in pain, to treat it because it's currently not curable. I get hospitalized every eight weeks. On bad days, I binge watch your videos. My favorite series ever are Outlast, Evil Within, I Am Bread, and Pokemon Glaze. I rewatch these each uh, about every month or so, but I've recently subscribed to your new vlog channel, Nappy Speaks. After seeing how determined, driven, and happy you seem to be, I feel really motivated to get through the bad parts of life. Sometimes my disease causes me to be really down for a while, but your contagious laughter never fails to make me feel better. Thanks for the good times. Cassie. Well, first off, I, it, it makes me incredibly sad to hear that you've been diagnosed with such a terrible disease, and I really, really hope, even even if it's not curable, I really, really hope things get better from here on out. I, I, I don't want to speak as if I'm uh, educated on the topic of Crohn's disease. I've heard of it before, but still, uh, I'm sending you my best wishes, and I really, really hope things get better. And on top of that, I'm really, really happy and glad that you enjoy the series. You have mentioned not one, not two, but all three of our channels, so you are a real MVP, a proud member of the Nappy Nation, and that makes my little Nappy heart pitter patter. So I'm glad that even in tough times, you are able to find a way to get through through our content. And I don't know, just as of late, as of 2016, you know, once I started going to the gym and decided to eat healthy, it's just become one of those things where it's just, uh, positivity is contagious. You want to talk about things being contagious, positivity is contagious, and negativity is even worse. That's even more contagious. So it's like, all those aspects of negativity in your life, you don't need them. Get rid of them. Remove them. You know, that's why, if you guys remember a while back over on our The King Nappy channel, I just disabled comments on the Free For All series. It's not because I couldn't handle criticism. It's not because I didn't want to hear what people had to say or I wanted to restrict uh, the, the viewers' interaction with the video. It's just, it became so toxic and negative. It's like, I didn't need that in my life. Even if it was just 30 seconds of a day reading the comments, I didn't need it. It was just extra negativity that's not needed. So any areas of negativity in your life that you don't necessarily have to go, go through or have to deal with, get rid of it. You don't need it. You don't need that negativity dragging you down. Surround yourself with positivity and positive people and your life and your happiness will double. At the end of her letter, she has an optional part uh, regarding Ask Nappy. And I think what's gonna end up happening is I'm gonna save it for now and actually answer it on Ask Nappy. 
Um, but I see what you said, and trust me, um, it's not something that I... It, it, it's, it's a maturity thing. I'll say that much. So, Cassie, you've read your letter, and when episode one of Ask Nappy comes out, God willing, I don't forget, uh, I will answer your question in more detail. But for an, an answer for you right now, Cassie, it just came down to a maturity thing. As I'm sure you've noticed, it doesn't happen anymore, so... Yeah. Our second letter this week comes from Damien in Arnold, Missouri. Damien sent a letter that says, Dear Royalty, you are one of the best. Keep doing what you're doing. You're always making my day. From Damien. P.S. I drew some pictures. Sorry if some of them are bad. Hope you like them. No picture is ever bad because art is creativity. We have a YouTube up first. I, I really hope that can be seen in this lighting. Then we have a Lugia, a Salamence, Tyranitar, a Noivern, hot damn, a Tucson Terrakion right there. We got the big old granddaddy Hoopa Unpound. And last but not least, even with the purple flames on the side, we have King Boo with a crown on a Mega Gengar. Damien, you didn't have nothing to worry about when it comes to your art. You should keep at it. Those pictures were definitely uh, a joy to go through. Our third letter today comes from Amber in Beaverton, Oregon. That is an interesting name of a place to live. Beaverton. We have... Just a movie poster. That's all that's inside. Oh wait, it says, sorry about the folding. Big fan, thank you so much fun. Thank you for so much fun. We have a small note on the back there. But this is from Amber in Beaverton, and she sent us... Oh, Sadie, you wanna sniff it? You wanna check it out? Can you smell the beavers? But we have a Destiny Deoxys movie poster from Amber in Beaverton, Oregon. Thank you so much, Amber. I liked every part about this movie except for that kid. That kid drove me crazy. And then our final piece of mail this week comes from Brian in Hayes, Kansas. Inside of here we have a few Pokemon cards here and we have a letter. So let me see. It says, hey Nappy, my name is Brian but on Twitch and YouTube I go by Ace Gamer Brian. I've been watching your content for a little over a year now, but I've gone back on your channel and watched many other series that you have done before I was a subscriber. I really enjoy watching your content because you are extremely funny and you love to have fun playing Pokemon. I have also subscribed to your Nappy the Great channel to watch Mirror's Edge. I may have to go buy Mirror's Edge now. 100% you should. Watching it and playing that game are two entirely different things. Go play it if you haven't. I'm a huge fan of your Pokemon content, but I also love sitting down on Saturday night to watch some prime time. The conversations you have about playing Mario Kart vary so much. Everything from Jay's the kind of guy to, to kinks and porn stars. I know you said you didn't really want to receive a bunch of Pokemon items, but I sent TCG cards. Sorry. I sent a few awesome cards for you to have. All of them have something to do with one of your LPs, UCL seasons, or just Pokemon that you have talked about. Again, thank you so much for your amazing content, and I can't wait to watch the new series you have starting soon. And maybe UCL starting back up. Insert frog emoji. I also follow you on Twitter at PokemonKing17. Sincerely, Brian Ace Gamer Brian, and he signed his name on it as well. He was not lying. All of the Pokemon involved here have come from one of our LPs or another, all the way varying from Cindy the Gastron to Titduck the Magmar. We had uh, Mickey D's, the Apowdon, we got Sacred, the Entei, Comex, the Blastoise, Subaki, the Star Me, Church, the Metacamp, I kinda look like a mud show. Thank you so much to Brian for sending in the Pokemon cards, I appreciate him, bro. That, however, is gonna wrap up our first week, our first episode, our first installment of Fan Mail Fridays. Thank you to everyone that sent something in. Since this is episode one, we didn't have a ton of stuff to open up, but I'm gonna try and open up a few things every single week, and uh, as long as you guys keep sending stuff in, I'll keep opening it. So, again, remember, if you want to send something in, the address to our P.O. box is included in the description below. And make sure that anything that you send in, ideally, would be going on a one-way trip. Don't send in anything that you want to be sent back to you. With that, I'm going to get up out of here. I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye!